Hey you, do you have no life? Do you want to get noticed by people way cooler than you? Do you spend way too much time on Reddit? Oh, oh you're none of those things. Oh, well, I'm still gonna teach you how to be a Reddit troll. Like me. Because I've run out of ideas for memes, and the last time I did a video like this, it, uh, it, it did pretty shit. And I want to make another one. So I'm gonna show you how I make my Reddit memes. Let's go! Pussy, 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 marijuana, wanna. Pussy, 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 marijuana. One of the most important decisions a Reddit troll has to make is choosing a target. Once you've found potential, you have to analyze it. See what kind of memes the community likes, check other high effort memes to see your competition, check out the people the subreddit is based on to see what they're like, and see if they're meme worthy. Once you've officially chosen the subreddit, it's time to go over to step 2. Inspiration. Inspiration is really important for making memes. No inspiration means your memes are gonna be shit. It's really important not to force memes. Let them naturally come to you. Inspiration can come from anywhere at any time. I just got the best meme idea ever. I just got a genius meme idea. Right after I make a meme pie. You <laughs> get it? Because meme pie is a, a cream pie. If you're not creative, use my advice. Smunk weed. It'll boost your creativity and. Oh. Hello? You're a fucking ugly cunt, oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but apparently I'm now on the FBI watch list, so I'm not allowed to talk about stuff like that. Usually, when you're watching something and your brain says it's meme worthy, you'll instantly find out. Veteran memers usually have a sixth sense. Sight, sound, touch, smell, taste, and can I make a meme of this? Once you manage to train the sixth sense, you'll likely be able to use it to great effect. Here's an example of how this sixth sense works when you see something meme worthy. I'm gonna use my old ass cereal meme as an example. Wait, do people in England not eat cereal with milk? Like, do people in England not eat cereal with milk? My god. I just got the best meme idea. Two hours later. Wait, do people in England... <laughs> England?! Wait, do people in England not eat cereal with milk? Well, obviously not. Everybody knows that us Englishmen, we eat our cereal with tea. Everybody knows that. Hey, that's pretty good. Now that you know how to think of memes, it's time to put those thoughts into effect. And that's what the next step is. Slurp, slurp, baby girl, I'm trying to get my dick wet. Perfect! When you're getting ready to film, make sure you have a good device to shoot the scene with. Hopefully the inspiration is one through you, and you know what to record. Now, acting on camera may be hard sometimes. It's important to put yourself in your character's shoes. Or, in this case, your own. Now, understand if you have to scream, it may be difficult, because you'll get noise complaints. Hello? It's also important to keep track of time. Usually, in my opinion, a Reddit meme is usually long enough if it's one minute long or less. If it's any more, you're unintentionally wasting your own and everyone else's time. Hell yeah, motherfucker! This is your boy, no fuckers! Editing. The most fun part of the entire process. You know, some people told me that I edit like a European god. <laughs> Those Europeans, man. They think of all kinds of gods. The god of fire, wind, Water, Earth, and now, the God of Editing. Now, but for real though, I feel like the only true God of Editing is Godster. And speaking of Godster, 
Why does he not follow me on Twitter? Editing is a pretty big part of being a Reddit troll. Since if there's no editing, then people would just think it's some weirdo doing stupid shit on Reddit. That's where editing comes in. You turn your videos from ha ha to ha ha ha. Be gone, devil. Only Satan. <laughs> and before you ask, no. Windows Movie Maker doesn't work as a meme-making software. It's like one step above not having editing at all. Trust me on this. I've made an MLG montage with Windows Movie Maker. It was atrocious. Now, if you're wondering what editing software is best for making memes, me personally, I use Sony Vegas 13. So let's go with that. Now, legally, you're supposed to buy Sony Vegas for 400 fucking dollars. That's like my net worth. Now, here's an important thing to keep in mind. It's not illegal if you don't get caught. So, if you go onto Google and type download Sony Vegas for free. FBI, open up! I mean, n no matter what, you should buy the product because all the money directly supports the creator. So once you finish downloading your legal copy of Sony Vegas that you've obtained legally by purchasing, it's time to learn how to use it. Now Sony Vegas is pretty complex, so I'm not going to talk in detail about how to use it. But while you're doing so, there's an important thing to keep in mind. People like weird stuff. And I don't mean this kind of weird, but I mean this kind of weird. For some reason, people tend to associate memes with ear rape. I don't know why, but they just like it apparently. Like, while making a meme, suddenly just... <laughs> And speaking of music, I'm gonna give you a few pieces of advice about making memes in Sony Vegas. It's important to pick your music wisely so that it fits the meme. Here's an example of how not to pick music. Also, I feel like this is a good time to address a personal issue that I've had. Once again, I'm being attacked for presenting new ideas. A few days ago, I was publicly humiliated on stream for microwaving a sandwich. No bread us. No bread us. You're gonna shit on me for putting milk before cereal when you put sandwiches in the microwave? I don't get what's wrong with that, but since you uncultured uncultured but smart people find something wrong with it, I feel like the music will fit this scene pretty well. I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, people keep saying that it makes the bread soggy, but I don't care. I like it soggy. Oh, come on. Anyway, back to editing. When you start editing, there's gonna be a lot of stuff you're gonna have to learn. Cropping, angles, green screen, music, filter, wondering if you should send a crash report. I feel like it's best to explore Sony Vegas yourself and learn what editing style fits you the best. Once you're done editing, then that means you've officially birthed your meme baby. And you know what the first thing you have to do with a baby is, right? That's right! Show it off! Upload it to the subreddit and wait for the people behind it to see it. What did I just fucking- I mean, if you follow this tutorial, then you'll just smooth sail to the top. And once it's there, then one of three things will happen. A. No one will see it. B. Someone will see it and love it. C. Someone will see it and absolutely hate it. That, that, that's cringe. And if you somehow make a meme that's so bad that everyone in the suburb despises you for it, 
then you have several options. But the best one is probably to get a new identity, move to sunny Ukraine, and try to meme as a new person. So that's about it. You're an autistic memer on Reddit. Hope you enjoy your journey. Also, I have a super important announcement coming up. Since my YouTube upload schedule is almost as bad as Kimmy's ASMR schedule, I'm probably gonna bring back the cringy gameplay videos that I used to do. So, don't be surprised if I have a sudden change of content. No, I'm not quitting memes, I'm just doing extra stuff to fill in the blank. So, heads up for that. Despacito joke lost joke the end.